All right, so we know we talked about that the club face, we're going to trust it coming back open. That's fine. It's a little blurry, but that's, that's, not, that's not the issue, so don't worry about that. You, were, you had a little concern about that, that it's too open. That's why you couldn't close it. Well, we determined... So the club face isn't squaring up enough. So that's a practice swing. So that got pretty square there. It did. Yeah. Wow. But what we'll see here... That's what develops the power. That's correct. But what we'll see here on some of the front views is you said you were kind of experimenting with that grip a little bit. You felt like a hand, right hand. I'm not crazy about that right forefinger being down the shaft like that. Oh, okay. okay I'd like you to wrap that around there. And then I think there's room for that hand to sneak underneath more this way. Okay. Um, to help square up your club face. Okay. And then it's just a matter of, you know, as far as your swing goes, we, you know, we don't have a big old back swing, do we? No. Okay. If that's safer for you. You get much longer than that, you, you don't trust it. That's not a bad move. But let's go back to this one on the left because I want to talk about your posture here a little bit. Here's the thing that you got to be careful of because you're tall. First thing a tall guys do in their world of golf is they know they're tall, the ball's further away, they get a little over bending in the knees. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, and then we get, sometimes we get a little bit reaching for the ball too. Mm -hmm. Right here. So if you watch where, when we get into impact, we watch what your body looks like. Sometimes it stand, we stand up a little bit too much at impact. Where That's when you're hitting it thin. Oh, okay. And the other reason you're hitting it thin, I'm talking about mostly when the ball's on the ground. Of sure, course. sure. Okay. Uh, when that ball's on the ground, in fact, let's go to that shot here. When that ball's on the ground, let's see what happens at impact here. It's called impact, the moment of truth. How much higher your head gets sometimes? Oh yeah, okay. an inch or two. Uh, yeah, gonna, and that can <laughs> make, make a bad. difference. Okay. Now, so here's what I'm going to encourage you to do with, with this setup: is get yourself a little less knee bend here. Okay. So that's actually going to raise your head a little bit taller, uh -huh. just in itself, right? Okay. So you'll be up there a little bit. Uh -huh. That means the arms are actually going to come a little bit closer to you. Okay. That means the ball, the shaft is going to have a little bit more uh, erect angle, a little more upright angle. And I think the ball is going to be just a little bit closer to you. Okay. So we're not going to be as likely to hit it thin. Okay. Okay. It all makes so, sense. So when big guys get in short guys' posture, you need to take advantage of your height and have a high vertical swing. Mm. And guys like you, who are high and vertical, the ball is not out there like it is for me. It's here. Oh, well, it's closer. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you don't have a real high vertical top of the swing position because you don't get it up that high. Because right. you've got restrictions, right? Yeah. So you swing it a little flat, but it, it's not that flat. It's just short. But we need to be more vertical. Think of that turn. So I think we can help you there with just, it's going to go from here. Now, if watch my knees go backwards. Yeah. Now they're flexed, mm -hmm. not bent. They're still athletically flexed. And then my arms just kind of, when I went up here, my arms went. Came in. Yeah. yeah. So all of a sudden that ball, I think it's going to be about one ball closer to you. And that'll help the. Uh 
it'll help the contact, number one, mm -hmm. because most of your shots there are going to be thin because you're right. big, you're tall, yeah. you're forward, and then you're reaching. Yeah. And you're stupid. So finding the bottom of the ball, a little bit, you can do a little bit in and out with that. Okay. So the club face is a semi separate issue, right? But there's nothing wrong with that swing motion right there. Yeah, I, I came through. I, yeah, you're fine. I turned all my uh, weight over to the. I just want to get that right hand in a little better spot mm -hmm. on the grip. And as you'll see, not heavy, overbent with the knees. Uh, you know, it's just almost constant with uh, tall guys. And it's just even though you got that one up in the air, it's a little thin. The last one you hit was your best contact. Mm -hmm. You got all your clubs built with some extra length, I know. Yeah, three quarters of an inch, I think. See, I like to see that just a little closer. Mm-hmm. That shaft's just a little bit in there. In there. That'll make your whole swing plane get a little more steep without you worrying about it. Right. There's not like a swing makeover that is required here. Yeah, you just yeah. got to get some confidence back. Right. And trust that club face movement. You don't have to fear the left anymore. No. That's pretty much. We're done with that, right? Pretty much, yeah, unless I just get my hands over two trying to over. Well, <coughs> and then I don't do forget, a dead pull. Don't forget what I said the, the early on here today. The evolution of your swing has been that you didn't, you couldn't trust a release right. because of the earlier hook days, mm -hmm. right? So we solved the club face mm -hmm. coming back, but intuitively it's it's still harder for you at times to trust a release, trust that, and and this motion here still hurts this shoulder, these muscles here, the ones Good. they cut. Still very hard to get over here. Yeah. Good. And that's probably got something to do with it. Probably. Absolutely. Um, still working on stretching those out. He